Hello, my name is Luke and I'm here to show you the good stuff, stuff that is going to hopefully make your life a lot better making music as a music artist, whether you're a producer yourself, whether you're looking to make music as an artist. And today I'm going to be making a song from scratch. I've no idea how it sounds, but I'm going to show you the entire process of what I do as someone who's been making music for other artists for eight years, making music for myself for basically 18 years at this point. I'm going to show you what I do to get myself a polished demo get something down so that I can write to it later or use it with other artists. So I had this idea to start with a piano here. So I'm going to use the gentleman here. Oh, oh, that's the movement, isn't it? the octave lower yeah okay let's set the tempo okay so I've just recorded in this piano part here and it sounds like this sounds lush and I want to add some little melodies on top that I wanted to initially play on the piano but I decided that I do them on a separate melody just to add a, li a little bit of variation in the sonic soundscape here okay I've just recorded in this melody here and it sounds like this What I'm going to do, I'm going to put that into a track stack. I'm going to process the life out of it because uh, I think that'd be fun. Give it some grit. Love the sound of that. I'm now just going to add this plug in here. I want to take away the highs and lows and put it in a space. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing on the piano here. I'm just going to give it some source. So I'll go to RC20. I'm going to add some distortion and then just shape the tone a little bit. Just gonna add a bit of soothe onto this melody line here. There's a couple of resonant frequencies I don't like. Okay, so now we've got those parts. I wanna transition that into um, a completely different sounding section. Dun, 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 dun. I, I kinda wanna bring in like a big synth pad. Like, that just sounds insane. Maybe though. Yeah, that is kind of more what I'm after, I think. Just need to find the chords now that are gonna fit after this. Okay, so I've just recorded in these chords here. Uh, it's the same as the piano part, but this time on this big synth here. Amazing, I'm gonna double that up with the bass here now. I'm just going to group these together. And what I want to do now is I actually want to uh, create like this kind of pumping distortion effect. Um, not pumping, but like a really like it's literally poking out the speakers. It's almost distorting your headphones. So I'm going to kind of recreate that. So I'm going to add some noise. And then I'm going to add some drive. Um, on the soft clip there. I'm just going to turn that up. 
Whoa, yeah, man, that's crazy. And then I'm going to add some reverb to that, just as a tail end. Um, I'm thinking I want something huge. Try Character Hall. Yeah, that is, that's crazy, man. Now what I'm going to do is add some drums to that. I'm thinking to cap or decap. Now I'm thinking we need a crash. Okay, so I've added these uh, symbols here with the kick. Uh, but I actually want to add a little bit more of an effect and texture of it leading in. I want this to be kind of dreamy. So I've just bounced out the main synth line here. And I'm going to throw some portal onto this. And I want to create some granular textures here of it all leading up like stretch and smears and stuff. Let's see. Maybe even the pitch. So I've actually decided against those synth lines. I'm thinking if we're going into this section, I want it to, I want the space there. Not everything has to be filled. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a choir. Okay. So I've just added this choir in here and I've used Jacob Collier's free choir here. Well, it was free when I got it. And then this Omni choir here uh, with the alto setting. Uh, and I've just grouped them together. <laughs> And I'm basically just going to process them and EQ them and stuff just to get them sitting a little bit nicer here. Like that. And then we'll just add a little bit of heat wave. This is a kind of saturation distortion plugin. Nice. And then I'm just going to add my own uh, reverb to that. So I'm just going to turn the reverb off. Uh, oh, it's already turned off. That's fine. Um, in the plugin. And then I'm just going to add my own reverb here. Okay, so I've just added uh, a few bits at the end here for the drums. But I want to get some real live kits in there, so I'm going to get my live drum kit. Again, I just want to compress the life out of these. Everything that wants to be um, distorted, gritty, that's kind of the effect I'm going for. And now I want like a hip hop beat to kind of bring this in and we'll bring the piano back in here. But I'm thinking maybe. <laughs> kind of like that. I think like a nice, like a new movement now, something we've not heard yet. That piano sounds great there. Now we just want to add an 808 and some hip hop style drums. That's kind of what we're going for now. Go for the spins 808 because that is the iconic 808. Okay, I've just added in this bass here and I'm just going to tidy up the bass here, because where it's the bottom end of the track, I want this to be as tight as possible. A little bit of drive on there. Okay, so I've added uh, a bass and a kick here. But 
but I'm gonna start adding some more drums. I want this to be like a hip hop type beat. Nice, we'll get some hats on the go. So I've just turned down every other one here. Nice, and now I'm gonna add another hi-hat on top of that, and this is gonna act more like a roll or a texture. And the way that I like to do that is adding a hi-hat into a MIDI track, and then I can literally just roll my fingers on the keyboard, and that's that really. I love that little fast roll, just there like that. I'm just gonna add one more hi-hat track, and this one is gonna be uh, more of a texture, and it's gonna follow more this main hi-hat here, but it's gonna add different pitches and stuff like that. Kinda like that, just like a little bit of fun texture there. There we go, there's our hats. Okay, so in the second half of the verse, I've just tried, or I'm just experimenting by adding the synth from the intro. I'm actually gonna change the, the timing of it because it needs to swing a bit, because uh, the intro doesn't swing, but this part does. Just wanna add in a few extra notes. I kind of want some drum fills going in there, some like, um, uh, some kind of like vintage drum fills. I think that'd be really cool. Let's go for the spring vintage mono. the hip hop drums over to here, what would this sound like? Ooh, yeah, okay, that's fun. Yeah. Okay, so I added these extra keys in here just to fill it out a little bit more. as well as adding some extra uh, snares there. I think the final thing that I'm gonna add before I kind of call it is add some uh, strings. Uh, I would like to kind of have that epic orchestral sort of sound for this. I think that'd be really fun. <laughs> What I actually want to do is all the choirs, or all, all these strings, these pianos, I want them to side chain to the kick because, you know, ultimately that is, that's going to give it that really contemporary feel. So I'm just going to route them all to their own bus here. Uh, and I'm going to call it a uh, kick side chain. I think I'll put kick start on there. And then where's the kick? Uh, I'm going to change the side chain to instrument. It's the, oh no, it might be the audio. There it is. Add a few extra kicks at the end here. Just swing that a little bit, that kick there. Okay, let's take a listen to what we've got here.
Nice, this is sounding really, really nice. I think what I might do, I might just have a quick look and change what the piano's doing. Um, maybe go, because we have this big epic sort of bigness to it. I wonder if actually we do something a bit different there. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to leave it there. So that's the only thing that I added towards the end there. Um, this is now in a really sick place. Like, I love how this sounds. So that is my process of getting a polished demo down. Hope you found this video useful. If you have, follow, like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.